welcome back to a brand new video. Today is going to be a vlog. We're going to be just tackling some stuff around the house. I actually got a new exercise piece of equipment right here. I'm going to put together just a second. So excited about it. Um, it's something I've wanted for a while, but I finally saw it on sale. So I went ahead and snagged it. And huge, exciting announcement in today's video as well. Um, honestly, I'm a little nervous. I don't even know if I'm going to even share it. Ah, I don't know why. I'm like, it makes me nervous, but I am excited. I do think that it's something that I have, that I've been praying a lot about it. I feel like it's been on my heart and maybe I just, it's time. I don't know. Um, so we'll be talking about what is happening in just a couple minutes, but I'm making the kids lunch right now. Um, they're going to have some chicken nuggets. I make these Applegate chicken nuggets. If you've never heard of them, they are so good. If you eat them with like Chick-fil-A sauce, they're bomb. I'm pulling the package out of the trash to show you. This is what they look like. They're gluten-free chicken nuggets. They're just the best. It's the Applegate brand. Um, <clears throat> I gotta wash my hands. I literally just got something on them. Hold on. Oh my gosh, the chaos around here. <laughs> it's been crazy. Um, but anyway, while their nuggets are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get my little ab machine put together and we'll test it out. So I had some hangry little ones for a second there. They're eating now, so fingers crossed we'll be in a better mood. Um. <laughs> I am going to quickly tidy up the kitchen real quick, and then we are going to head out and go thrifting. Um, I have been on the hunt for some new frames, but I also had to go pick up my Walgreens order because I ordered some prints, and I'll tell you guys all about it in just a little bit. Y'all excited to go thrifting? Yeah. Woohoo! I was definitely digging the lockers here. If, if we had a bigger house and like I had like a really like designated entryway or kind of like a mud room, I think it'd be so cool to have lockers in there for the kids. I just, I've always loved that idea. I had something just like this. I wonder if that'll fit by the back door. <laughs> it, it probably will. I need this in my room. Yeah. <laughs> what, baby? That's gorgeous. $74. I want that vanity. What vanity? That one. Did? Yes. If we ever had a house, oh my gosh, it'd be so beautiful. I'd have so much cool stuff. Like if we had a bigger house. Oh, I thought you said if we had a house. 
All right, so we left the first thrift store. I bought to hit one more and look for some more frames. This one was actually wiped out. Um, I think people are starting to catch on that that's the cheapest thrift store in town. And you get buy one, get one free frames there. So there's no frames. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go here to the Lighthouse Ministries and see if we can find any here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll take it. <laughs> There's a whole set. That's actually really pretty. We don't need that though. Okay. All right, y'all, we are back from the thrift store. I'll share with you guys what I got um, and how I plan on utilizing these items around my house. So first off, I got this really beautiful blue vase. This is stunning. I love the shape of it, the size, it's perfect. I actually have been really into plants. Y'all know I have like a little ledge on my kitchen window and I just want like a little pop of color. I thought this would be pretty to put some, a new plant in there. Um, and I actually, I have a plant, what are they, What? how do you pronounce this word? Photos, is it a photos plant? Photos? <laughs> I don't know. However you say it, it's this one. Which, this one I need to cut off all the dead branches. But I have, y'all, I don't know what kind of green thumb I have. But I took one of these plants and I have literally transformed that plant into like 50 plants. I just keep cutting them and trimming them and sticking them in water. And they're like blooming. I don't know. Blooming, thriving, whatever. Same thing. Um, this one's a little dry. She needs some water. So I'll put it over here. But... I'm gonna put some in here. And then I loved the amber shape, all that look of this one as well. I do have an amber vase in my kitchen already and I just like this warm amber color. So I thought this would be really pretty to incorporate in the kitchen somewhere as well, maybe. I don't know, we'll just figure it out and see where this stuff looks best. Um, but I am gonna use this as a planter. I'm just gonna take, basically all I do is I just like pull the root out of the plant. So I'm just gonna show you how I do this real quick. And then I just simply stick it in there like that. And then I put water in there and then it, they just grow and grow and grow. It's insane. So it'll be like this here. I really like it. This would also work as a candlestick. I feel like it's the perfect size. Um, so there's multiple uses for this, but I'm using it as a plant base. <laughs> Next thing I got was this beautiful three-quarter sleeve green turtleneck dress. Now, obviously it's hot in summer, but you know, fall's right around the corner. <laughs> At least I'm, I'm just, I'm so excited for fall, I'm not gonna lie. But this is also, it's really thin and at church it's super cold. So I figured this would be a really great, um, just staple church dress. I'll try it on for you guys in just a second and show you how it looks. I, I already know I'm gonna love it. I love the color. I love anything three-quarter sleeve. I don't know why. I think it just, I don't, yeah. We're not gonna down talk ourselves, but I'm just saying I like three-quarter sleeve shirts or dresses. Uh, and then I got a couple frames. So I found this one. Now when I'm looking for frames, I don't really pay attention to the color as much as I pay attention to the detail that's in the frame because I know I can paint it. I can either paint it black or brown, bronze. I can paint it gold. Um, really just depends on like what I'm going for, but I loved the look and the detail of this frame here. Now this one is missing, oh, it's right here. How much did I pay for that? $3, $3 for that frame. Not bad at all considering frames are expensive and I really love the detail in that one. Now this next one, actually both of these were buy one, get one free. So I paid $2.99 for both of these together. This one is a little on the plain side, but sometimes plain frames work great if you're adding artwork to them that you want to be like this, uh, the center of attention. Sometimes like paintings, I feel like when the frame is a little bit more like ornate, it just makes the art pop more. But sometimes if the art is so beautiful, you don't want to take away from that. So you want more of a simple frame. And I got that one um, for those art, or, you know, the paintings that I plan on doing. Um, and like I said, it was $2.99 for both of these. So that's what that one looks like up close. The detail on this one is stunning. Now, what's really funny, so this paint, this frame is actually from Kirkland's. It says 
then it was at Goodwill for $6.99, and then it went to this other thrift store. How about they had it marked for $9.99? I said, oh, I'm not gonna pay that much. On the back, it's like cheaper than what y'all have it listed for. He's like, yeah, that doesn't seem right. I was like, I honestly think that whenever whoever was tagging items was trying to put 99 cent on the frames and she put 9.99 on all of them. So it just, it didn't make sense. But he, like I said, he gave them both of the frames to me for 2.99. So not a bad deal. I'm gonna paint these today. I am going for more of a gold look. I feel like all of my artwork that I do just looks best in gold frames. So that's kind of the style I'm into right now. I like that look, the more antique style. And that's just what I'm gonna to stick to because it's what I like and what I know. Um, but, I mean, these frames do look pretty as is too. This one actually looks fine. I just gotta take the print out of it. I might just leave this one brown. Because this one actually looks really pretty as is, to be honest. Maybe just go in with like a little bit of gold and kind of just like add a little bit more. I think that's what I might do. Because I don't want all of them to be like gold gold but i do i love I just i don't know what it is i just love me a good chunky antique looking gold frame <laughs> and this frame is thick i like it so that is what i ended up getting i'll try on the green dress real quick and show you guys that all right so i'm about to spray paint these frames and i just prep them by taking out the glass however the glass would not come out of this frame here the little staples they put in they were in there so i just ended up covering it with a cardboard piece and it worked out fine um, and then the way that I do this is I spray paint them a dark color and then I go in right away with the metallic gold and I just repeat that process until I like the way it looks. Sometimes I go heavier with gold, sometimes I just keep a, like a little spritz um, and it really just depends on your personal preference. You keep your thoughts to yourself. <gasps> you may not. Absolutely not. You may not. Oh, snapping turtle, you. <gasps> ow! Ow! Oh, I'm Dolly. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm the pain. I'm the pain. Get him, though. Get him. Alright, so I just got a small grocery order in. I'll share with you guys what I got. Just like a couple basics that we needed that we were out of. So, let me get those in. All right, so I just got everything unloaded. I'll share with you guys what I ended up getting. So first off, I got some coffee. This is my favorite. But my husband drinks Folgers, so I got him some coffee as well. I got him some creamer to go with his coffee. I have four cans of spaghetti on meatballs for the kids for lunch. Um, I got cracked black pepper turkey. This is my favorite for sandwiches. It just goes bad really, really quick. So if you don't eat it within like two to three days, it's no good. Um, and really, I just get just enough to make like maybe three sandwiches total. And then I get my favorite whole grain bread. I got hot dog buns and hot dogs. We're gonna have chili dogs tonight for dinner. So here's the Hormel chili. I got some butter. Did I say this already? But I got butter. I got a bag of ice for my iced coffee. Cole's mozzarella cheese sticks. These are so good. Um, I got another pack of those chicken nuggets. These are go-to in our house and they're expensive, but I'm telling you they're the best frozen chicken nuggets you can buy. And I cook ours in the air fryer. So we just keep those on hand. We've got some shredded lettuce for the sandwiches. Spaghetti sauce. We're gonna have spaghetti for dinner tomorrow night. Um, a pack of Jimmy Dean uh, sausages for breakfast. And then I got the Arby's crinkles, not crinkles, curly fries for dinner tonight. Like I said, we're having chili dogs and then we just cook fries. We usually just pop those in the air fryer. And that is all I got. I'm so nervous. I've tried to film this like 40 times. I'm not even kidding. Okay, 
So this is it. I have officially started an Etsy shop to sell my digital, digital downloads of my paintings. So you can get a copy of my painting right, sent right to your computer or your own phone. If you purchase over on Etsy, I will have the link down below for my Etsy shop. For some reason, my Etsy shop is not popping up on Google. So if like you type in Carrie Lynn Art on Etsy, it doesn't show up. I don't know why, <laughs> I can't figure it out. But it does work if you click on the direct link. So I'll have it linked down below. I'll have it pinned in the comments too. And if you can't find it either of those, just leave a comment and say that you would like a link to it and I will be glad to send it to you. I'm really excited about this launch. This is a trial run just to kind of test the waters. I did keep it very simple and affordable. Um, what I did was I just kept all the prints are an eight by 10. Um, that's just like the size of the painting anyway, is an eight by 10 and that keeps its original quality. However, if you download it as an eight by 10 and you upscale it to like an 11 by 14, it does work. However, it does change the colors and obviously the quality a little bit, but I did try it out on two of the prints to get an idea of what the quality would look like when I printed it through Walgreens and both of them turned out really nice. Um, and I have them framed here on this wall. That's why I did the gallery wall. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's the announcement. I, I'm excited to have the official launch. Um, if you purchase from my Etsy shop, thank you guys so much. Please know that I am trying to figure out all the fine details with everything, so please bear with me. Um, if you have any suggestions or you see anything that I might need to fix, please feel free to let me know. Either send me a message on Etsy or just comment here, either one's fine. It's so nerve wracking starting something new. <laughs> I'm not I like to stay in my comfort zone um, but anyway I am over the moon and just so thankful that I'm able to share them with you guys and hopefully you can have a Carrie Lynn painting in your house soon let me go pull them off the wall and I'll show you up close what they look like okay this one is like my pride and joy Shh, Zoe I can never do a professional video because I have a farm of dogs hey, excuse me it's the cat across the street. All right, I'm gonna shut the blinds. Okay, so this is the one that I'm most excited about. Now, when it comes to the prints, I highly recommend if you print them, print them in a matte finish because that's gonna give you more so of the look of an actual painting versus the glossy paper. However, our Walgreens doesn't offer the matte paper unless you do shipping. And I wanted to like see how the colors looked immediately because I was trying to launch, you know? But matte finish would look a lot more realistic as far as the painting goes but this is the fall painting that I just did this one is beautiful oh my gosh all you gotta do is go find you a gold thick frame if it's not gold paint it gold get you the digital download and you can have a beautiful fall print like this right in your own house like how freaking stunning I'm obsessed I love this so so much like I said this is a glossy paper um this is actually I'll show you. This is what it looked like when I printed it. <laughs> and that's what it looks like in the frame. So obviously, anytime you frame any artwork, it's gonna look so much better. But love this so, so much. I wish that I had it in matte. I'll show you my actual painting. Hold on. This is my canvas boards that I paint on. So this is the actual painting. You can see it's very, very similar color-wise, like how pretty. But do you see how it's like not glossy so it looks more like an actual painting versus on the glossy paper it definitely has that shine but it, it still looks good okay this next one is another one of my favorites once again it is on a glossy paper i would recommend you know printing on matte um or like even a satin would work better but the gloss the shine i'm sorry it is what it is um but the actual painting itself is so pretty look at how stunning hand painted by me the colors look great it just looks like a really nice moody landscape hobby lobby hire me i'm just kidding no but seriously i'm this is just too exciting the last two that are available on my etsy shop are this one here um this one was really pretty i worked really hard at my little flowers down there at the bottom um and i feel like this because i don't know like what it is but when you print it it almost like makes it look better than the original painting like i'm i'm really loving this i'm digging it a lot so definitely love this one and then i did 
a long time ago. If you guys remember, I did the Bob Ross impression of the, I think it was Cabin on the Hill or something like that. So it, he did like a tutorial on it. And this is the painting of that. Very pretty. This one's a lot more colorful, but I love the trees here on this one. Very, very beautiful. So that one's also available on my Etsy shop. I gotta get all those um, <laughs> nails out and put my mirror back up on the wall. I don't know why I did that. I can't read them all. Um, Cause I actually have been thinking about selling the original copies too. The problem is I'm not really sure, number one, how much to list them for, how shipping is gonna go and like based off who's gonna buy it and who to, how do you choose who to sell it to? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a little stressful. <laughs> so I haven't decided if I'm gonna actual, actually sell the original print or not, or if I'm just gonna stick to digital copies for now. Um, I have some other paintings I can scan and upload, but I'm just kind of, like I said, this is just the official launch. launch. I decided to do my favorite paintings first for the launch that I've done so far and um, go from there. So that's it, that's the announcement. Now I would love for you guys to say some prayers for my dad. Um, also some travel prayers for us. My, uh, my brothers and I are actually gonna be traveling to Wisconsin in just a couple days to be with my dad. He is having surgery. I'm not gonna go into detail on what like is going on, but definitely need your prayers for that. I'm a little stressed, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Today's been like a very emotional, stressful day, just trying to like figure everything out that's been going on. And also with like me wanting to launch the Etsy shop and get things done around the house, like I've just been all over the place I feel. So thank you for sticking it out and bearing with me while I just get through this busy time in life. Um, but yeah, prayers for good health, safe travels. I really appreciate it so, so much. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye y'all.